Hi everyone, this is Blair with Destination RV. We're in Ontario, Canada here. I've got a brand new 2017 Quicksilver 8.0 model. It's got the two double beds on it, eight foot box. We've got an exterior charcoal uh, color with the white cabinets inside. We're gonna go through the uh, the 10 trailer here, this 8.0 model. We're gonna have a look at some of the features on the outside, then we'll head on inside and show you some of the new changes that they made, that Living Light has made on their Quicksilver models for 2017, and, uh, and then we'll show you everything that this has to offer. It's only 865 pounds, it's all aluminum. Remember guys, there's no wood inside of here, there's no steel frame. All right, let's go have a look through. All right, so I wanna start with the tent top itself. This is not canvas, guys. This is actually marine grade vinyl, which means it's more mildew and mold resistant. Uh, same kind of material they're using in the boat industry. So again, it is marine grade vinyl. It's really easy to clean. Every spring it's recommended you just open up the tent trailer after storage. You might have a little bit of mildew build up. Just use an all purpose cleaner uh, or anything that works with vinyl and uh, just give it a good scrub every year. On top of the tent itself, you'll notice it's a different color uh, layer on the top, okay? And that is actually uh, thicker on the top than it is on the sides. Now, going around the side, you can see it's got lots of windows, and each window has a nylon mesh to protect from bugs on the outside of the tent, and all of the windows have a nightshade. Now, the ones in the living room, the main uh, box area, you can see they're a little darker because they have a day and night shade. So not just a night like the tent beds, but they also have a day shade so that you can open it up and you can get uh, natural light coming through. Um, you just won't get, of course, the breeze. Um, but uh, it is a tinted day shade, which is awesome. Okay, so now that we've talked about the tent, we're gonna come up to the front here and we're just gonna focus on a few items up here. Um, first thing you'll see is when the tent trailer is actually closed up, you will have an all weather durable, it's a thick vinyl tonneau cover, same kind of tonneau cover that would go on the truck beds. Um, and that just rolls out over top. Um, and of course it's a black tonneau cover. And the black tonneau cover goes with the black trim package that is now standard on the 2017 uh, Quicksilvers. You can see here that you've got all black exterior trim, black diamond plate on the front for stone protection. And then of course diamond plate that is on the lower section of the side of the trailer running down um, with black fenders as well. So it's a nice blackout package that's now standard. Um, on the front of the trailer, we also have a uh, manual crank jack, but it does swivel across the frame, and then that way it, uh, it tucks it away for when you're traveling, and it also has a wheel on the bottom so that you can take this trailer and you can move it yourself. It's very light tongue weight. You've got a battery tray up front, okay, and that's where your interstate deep cycle battery would go. Comes with a two inch ball, uh, sorry, two inch coupler and a flat four wiring harness. Now you can order this with electric brakes if you wish. That's totally up to you. Now the brackets for the tent ends, you'll see that you've got two brackets on the front and two brackets on the back. And they just pin into the, uh, the actual bracket on the trailer, uh, the, the posts do. And the posts are stored away underneath in a tube. Now you can see underneath, it is an aluminum bed base, okay? And on the bottom of these tent trailers, you'll notice here that they, they actually have bungee cords, okay, that wrap around the post. And that just keeps it nice and tight underneath the trailer. Um, but not only that, they also have Velcro. And the Velcro just sticks on to the bottom here. And that way you've got kind of like a double seal with the bungee cords as well as the Velcro itself. Coming along the driver's side, okay, you've got a city water hookup and that is going inside to the kitchen. You've got 30 amp hookup as well, it comes with a power cord. And then down below, okay, this is the four inch ABS tube that you put all your tent supports in, okay? And then you've also got flip down, drop down jacks. Now these drop down jacks, they extend and retract and there's one on each corner, okay? They are for stabilizing your trailer once you've got it leveled using your tires side to side. Now these are 12 inch, radial tires okay with aluminum rims and they do have they are torsion axles that is standard okay um, that's still a standard feature no leaf spring suspension so each tire runs independently on its own suspension and you can take the center hubcap off and there's a grease fitting in behind 
which you then can, of course, uh, grease the inner and outer bearing as well. Let's head to the back here and uh, just have a look at the body. Uh, you've got a nice license plate bracket here, okay, with a light. You've got a bumper, an aluminum bumper, LED tail lights, and then, of course, your back brackets here for the second double bed on this 8.0 model, okay. It's lots of features on this unit. And then on the outside here, I'm going to set up the table on the bracket so that you can see how it sets up. Okay, so we're coming along the driver's, or sorry, the uh, door side here, which is the passenger side, and we've got a table mount. So this is for the exterior table, and uh, it just hangs on the side, and then there's a support bracket that goes into the bottom, uh, bottom bracket there on the trailer. I'll show you the table once we get inside here, okay? Uh, coming along the side, further along, you got single steps, you got an entrance door with a lock, and then, of course, your fold-down jacks, and then you've got your your door here. So this is your door. It's, remember, guys, this is a soft top 10 trailer, so there's no hard door except for on the body, which hinges and unhinges, um, or sorry, unlocks and locks right here, okay? Um, but we're going to open it up, and then uh, I'll show you the inside. Okay, so the door is open, and you can see at the top of the door, it just rolls up and Velcros at the top, and then, of course, you've got the actual door itself. So we're going to head inside here. And you can see, um, this is the inside of this 8.0, I'm just closing the door here, tent trailer, okay? And to the right of the entrance door, you've got a nice large double bed, and that is the table on the bed for the outside uh, bracket, okay? And it's a nice table, it's nice and sturdy, you can put your stove top on there. Lots of headroom in here. I'm standing up, I'm about 5 foot 11 inches. Um, and there is a total of 76 inch interior ceiling height. Now here's your kitchen. Okay, this is standard on the 8.0 model and you can see you've got lots of aircraft latches that uh, open up the cabinets here for storage space inside. I'll just open up some of these here so you can see. Okay, and again everything is framed with welded tubular aluminum. Okay, now if you wanted a furnace on this model, the 8.0, it would go right here. Okay, and this unit here, um, it's got a, uh, it's come standard with obviously the 30 amp uh, power connection, and that's your electrical panel there, as well as a GFI receptacle, 120 volts. It also has 12 volts on it. Charging station, you've got USB ports, car charger, and then down below is a carbon monoxide and propane detector. Okay, that's standard. It's all hardwired to the battery. So this is your kitchen. When you order with the LP package, you'll get the furnace, you get the two burner stove on the top here. The sink comes standard with it, and it's a manual pump faucet, okay? And this faucet here does have a five gallon reservoir underneath and behind. I'm just gonna pull the kitchen down here. It all folds down, and uh, you'll just see in behind, okay? In behind there, you can see there's your five gallon uh, water reservoir, there's a drain, and the water would just drain outside onto the ground. And then of course you've got your hookups for the city water as well. We're gonna put this table back. So it's nice having the countertop space. And then of course you've got the storage as well. Okay, looking at the rest of the camper, you've got a nice large dinette, okay, with back cushions on both sides, base cushions. And then underneath each cushion is storage space. I'll just pull up one of these cushions here. Okay, you can see they're all ABS benches, and there's lots of storage space underneath on both sides. Okay, um, I'm just making a mess in here. <laughs> there we go. Now, the benches can be removed. All of the benches on here are not fastened to the ground, to the floor. You can remove them. Same thing with the dinette table. It's a folding table. Now, if you wanted to turn this, this bench into a bed, the dinette table would sit on this ledge here, okay? And it would sit there on both sides, and then you have, you take your back cushions, put them over top, and there you have it, you have an extra bed. And then of course you've got your double bed on the other end. Lots of windows all the way around. When you open up these windows, guys, there's gonna be tons of crosswind coming in. Um, it also comes with two 12 volt lights, okay? The trailer comes with 12 volt lights that you can plug into 
the uh, the 12 volt plug in there. It's kind of like a little headphone jack, okay? And uh, then you can clamp them onto the poles. Now, just to the right of the door, you'll notice a little storage box, fire extinguisher, and then you've got another 120 volt receptacle. So you can option an air conditioner instead of the storage box if you wish. That's totally up to you. Lots of options are available on these Quicksilver 10 trailers. Um, something else you'll notice is the floor. You've got a nice vinyl floor over top of the aluminum floor and uh, that just gives it a nice warm feeling instead of having it so uh, cold as well as uh, um, industrial looking. It's got a nice residential feel to it. So a lot of features on these uh, these Quicksilvers, especially the 8.0 and 8.1 uh, models, which by the way, the only difference between the 8.1 and the 8.0 is you would have a single on that side on the back end instead of a double. And then the front of the trailer would have a queen instead of a double. So basically you shrink one size of the bed and then expand on to the other. Okay, that's the 8.1 guys, 2017 Quicksilver, um, 8.0 uh, sorry. Give me a call, shoot us uh, an email, subscribe to our YouTube channel guys, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and you'll see more Quicksilver videos come out all the time with different colors, different options and we'll talk to you next time.